In today's video, I'll be showing you how to resolve issues when streaming your Xbox Series X or S to your Windows computer, giving you a black screen when launching games or perhaps the games won't load at all, or the games are just freezing. So there's a few different things that you can do to your Windows computer that will hopefully resolve those issues you're facing. Like I said, when you're trying to do remote play. So straight away, I'm on the Xbox app, and at the bottom, you can see it says time for an update. So if you do not have the latest version of the Xbox app, then that's going to cause a lot of issues. So to update this app, all you need to do is close it down, and you then need to open up the start menu and type in store. You now need to open up the Microsoft Store, and you now need to select library in the bottom left hand corner, and you now need to go ahead and press update all. And as you can see, the Xbox app is here. So it's now going to go ahead and just update all the apps that are on my computer. If you didn't have the option to update all, then go ahead and click on get updates, and then it will begin to check for any new updates, and then update those apps if it does detect a new update. So allow this to run, and once it's finished, Go ahead and launch the Xbox app and connect to your Xbox again and see if you can now launch the game that you're having issues with. So if you're still not able to play the game, then the next thing we need to do is just ensure our Windows is up to date also. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then select settings. You now need to click on update and security and then just click on the check for updates button. Allow this to check for the updates and if it does detect any new updates, Windows will then download and install them. If you did have to install any new updates, once they have installed, go ahead and launch the Xbox app again and then see if that resolved the issue you've been facing. If that didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is just stay connected to your Xbox in the Xbox app. I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Xbox now. Alrighty, the next thing that you need to do is just press the Xbox icon on your controller and you then need to go across to your profile icon and go down to settings. You now need to go across to sleep mode and startup and you then need to go down to full shutdown and just press A and then go shut down. This is going to completely shut down your Xbox. So it's going to do a full shutdown. So once your Xbox has turned off, go ahead and unplug the Xbox from the wall socket as well, and then wait about a minute. And once you have waited a minute, plug the Xbox back in, turn it on, and then see if you can now play the game using remote play. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing to do is to launch the game before you start the remote play. So go onto your Xbox, launch the game that you want to play. Once the game has loaded and you're in game, then boot up the Xbox app and then connect to the Xbox. And that will hopefully resolve the problem you're having as well. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.